springtime means pre-spawn. This time of year we've got, you know, the trees start budding, they start getting their leaves. Uh, my dad always used to say when the dogwoods are blooming, that's when the bass start getting up in the shallows and start getting those sunny days, but you still have cool nights. You're getting uh, just shifty weather, thunderstorms coming in. It all comes along with this spring spawn. This time of year is my favorite time of year to fish, um, mainly because the fish are big. Um, no matter what body of water you're at, no matter where you're fishing in the country, whether it's a pond or a lake or your local stream, you may be fishing the same lake over and over year after year, but this time of year, this is when you're gonna catch the biggest fish. Got him, got him, that's a big one, that's a big one. It is a tough, it's almost the toughest time of year to fish because conditions can change daily. One day you're catching on this, you wake up, you all fish in the same body of water and it's completely different from you know fish being in the shallow north end creeks and pockets on certain lakes or really big, big ponds and things like that. Uh, and then you've got certain patterns going on. You know, the fish might be really feeding up down south where the water's a little bit cooler, and then they might be locking on or cruising to try to get on beds on, on the northern part of the lake. So you really have different scenarios going on in the pre-spawn, and it all makes it a, a challenge to find the best bite. Before I even get out to the lake, I'm always watching the weather, especially this time of year. I'll sit here, I'll check the weather, any weather app every single day to see uh, if it's a warm trend, a cold front, how long the warm trend has been, what the wind's been, stuff like that. Um, it seems to me like the moon has a lot to do with obviously the fishing this time of year as well. The moon has a, a big impact on what the fish are going to do, whether it's a new moon, full moon, uh, or if we're coming up on those two moons, the fish tend to really feed up uh, before, like uh, three to five days before a full moon or a new moon. And then fishing can either be extremely difficult or really good on that full moon, depending if you can see bed fish or not. That's, that's when they typically will, will get locked on, paired up together on beds. And that's when they're not really eating. That's when they're protecting. They're in a, a aggressive protecting mode, but unless you nail it right on the head, you're often not gonna catch fish if they're just protecting. When I'm preparing to go pre-spawn fishing, I, I'm normally rigging up uh, three types of techniques. You know, number one, if it's gonna be a, a windy day, which a lot of times it's gonna be a windy day in the spring, you're lucky if you get a calm day, I like to have some sort of aggressive moving bait on. You know, I'll have a lipless crankbait. I'll have definitely a chatter bait. That's one of them. Um, sometimes a swim bait with a little bit of an underspin blade on it. Something I can really cover a lot of water with and try to get some bites. Got one. There's one. Yep. Yep. There's one. Got him on the bank. Fish. Yeah, he was right up on the bank. Yep. Right up on the bank. Nicely done, bro. Dude, he choked it on the chatter bait. Uh, you know, a craw or a bug or a jig. A jig's really my, my favorite thing to throw, a, a jig and pig or a jig and bug type trailer to try to get that big, big bite. And then the last one would be something finesse, like a little shaky head, uh, maybe even a weightless worm, something like that. Um, those are pretty much all the baits that I use this time of year to kind of cover all the situations you're going to encounter out on the water. But one thing that you can count on is almost always in the pre-spawn, fish are going to be looking for warmer water, they're gonna be looking for a hard bottom, and a location that you can look for is a place that's maybe out of the wind, but almost always on the inside of a cut leading into somewhere, that's a great place to start because they might not be all the way in that pocket or creek, but there's gonna be some fish lingering uh, out in front of that, starting to go in. So that's always a good place to start when you're pre-spawn fishing. Biggin? After you catch the first fish, that is 
pretty much the most important part of your day is to not just get so excited you caught a fish and release it. You really need to think about it. You really think about how, how deep was that fish? Was it on any piece of cover? Was it in the weeds? Um, did it hit it shallow? Did it hit it deep? Anything like that. You really, that first fish is the most critical part um, of your day once you get out on the water because that is the very first puzzle piece to putting the whole thing together. So especially the first one, but even the first couple, you really want to pay attention to what you were doing, your retrieve, the baits, everything. You, your, your fishing senses need to be on high alert um, right when you get on the water. So when you catch that first fish, you can do that over and over again meaning more fish in the boat. Oh, we got another one. Uh, right on the bank. There you go. Same, same area, just right up there. Little guy. I would say one of my biggest weaknesses in bass fishing is not slowing down enough. So this is where I have my toughest time. I think most people have a difficult time fishing this way, but you have to have a little bit of confidence where the fish are. Um, do, do some research, do your, do your homework, and especially if you see activity on your electronics, you know you know that water is not quite that 62, 64, where they really start spawning. Maybe it's it's 58, and I always say if it's over 55, they're gonna eat a, a moving bait. But you might have to make multiple casts in an area and slow down. That is the biggest key. Slow down if you're not getting bites, because most likely you're fishing it right by fish and they're just not warmed up enough yet to really attack that bait, or maybe they've already done their feeding and they're just getting ready to spawn. So slow down if you're not getting bites to put it right in front of their face where they can't resist it. Oh, got him right there. Oh, right you know, go. you're doing all these things, you know, you're doing everything right, and you're actually catching fish, but you're noticing these fish are kind of small. They're probably the males, maybe one, maybe two pounds, um, and that's all you guys can catch. Do, do something, go, go a little bit deeper, back up off the bank a little bit, throw right behind it, um, kind of where you're catching them because it seems like when those males are pushed up and that's all you're able to catch those females are shortly behind it um, and that's actually how I've caught some of my biggest fish ever my PB has actually come this time of year um, flipping and pitching doing stuff like that got him got him that's a big one that's a big one that's a big one what what the heck the most exciting thing about pre-spawn fishing is those fish are fat those big females are full of eggs it's the opportunity to catch the biggest fish of your life. Oh my gosh, it's giant. Do you have a scale? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, that's a freaking giant bass. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. That's an absolute giant. 